Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. I will be using tarot to get some answers and clarity hopefully for your love situation. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this may or may not resonate with all of you. If it does resonate, there's an extended at the end of this reading as well. Now let's start. First, let's shuffle five times the deck for you. Three more shuffles. I want to start with the current energies. Something has ended and not in a good way. There's silence, there's no communication. You feel betrayed. You didn't expect this to happen with this situation at all. Lack of communication and the painful ending. Now, what is affecting you in your subconscious? Let's see more details. I have Pisces here. I have Aquarius, Gemini, Libra as well, so take what resonates. Nine of Pentacles. You want to focus on yourself. You may have been trying to do that, uh, probably to get more financial independence. And you were enjoying that, but now you may feel like you are alone or single or not having that much luck in love, or you see this person of the past that you were attracted to being quite distant to you what was the main challenge in the past the lack of progress too much thinking hesitation and probably a very impatient person that decided to move on completely without thinking it twice because this hangman is in the position of the challenge they may have not tried to see the perspective your perspective to see this situation from your eyes they were just using their viewpoint they thought that their vision, they, they, how they viewed the situation was only the right uh, way to view it. Not much cooperation. Stagnancy as well. I have Pisces here emphasized again with the hangman and the high priestess. How do you view this situation? You see distance, you see them moving away, probably when you reflect more about how it ended. It left you feel uh, not good, maybe depleted energetically, emotionally. And uh, some of you are thinking about moving on completely, leaving it behind because it, it is not worth it anymore. There may be some physical distance as well. Yes, you cannot trust this connection. You want to avoid restarting something where you are not fully confident in it or you cannot feel that security and stability in the connection. You want to be logical. That is your hope. You believe that you were being too mo emotionally involved and you put so much desire and passion into it but you got hurt immediately and got discouraged by that. At the same time, you want to avoid either having that same partner showing that same energy or pattern so in a connection like being very harsh with you or being upset using harsh words something like that you don't want to see that kind of version in your next partner now let's see about your next relationship I think your next connection is still you healing from some wounds of the past. I'm not exactly sure here if this is your energy or the energy of the person you will be dealing with, but there's some resistance here. It is not that easy flow. There's a lack of trust here. I'm not quite sure if it is coming mostly from you or the person you will be connecting with. There's confusion. It is good for something short term. I have fire sign here, seven of wands, six of wands reversed. Probably your next person may shower you with 
lots of attention and desire and wanting to be with you and then you may realize that okay this person was superficial they were just uh, dealing with multiple people at once and you may have not been their only focus that kind of impression you may get from this next connection this may be a new person a past person i have fire sign and water here aries leo sagittarius maybe another sagittarius or water sign pisces Cancer Scorpio Pisces is emphasized here with the hangman and the high priestess in the current energies and the past relationship. What is the advice for you? Keep moving, don't stay stuck. It's like riding a bicycle. If you stop uh, moving the parts of the bicycle, riding it, you may fall. It may mean you may lose time by just reflecting too much into the past. You just need to keep moving. And I think you are on the right path because with that chariot, it means that when you start moving forward, you will see much more progress, much more success. Some of you may need to travel. It does not mean long distance traveling, but it may mean that the person of your heart or the person you are meant to be with long term may not live in your neighborhood. It may mean that you may need to travel by car to meet them. Something like that. Now let's see about what is the possibility of or what is the energy of a possible restart with an act. So if you and your past lover come back together and try again. What is the energy, the possible energy of that restart? Let's see about that. Seven of Swords. I don't like that energy. It means that especially if somebody lied, was not honest, was not straightforward, it may be repeated. Eight of Wands. Ace of Cups. Six of Cups, the Hermit. Okay, so this is a mixture here. But I'll tell you what is my general impression with this Eight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Hermit. And the message I'm getting is that you should reflect upon this. You should not put high expectations. If there was a restart, I think the communication would start rapidly. You would talk about how much you missed each other, uh, wanting to relive the past beautiful memories, recreating them again. Mostly it has that vibe of missing each other a lot, talking about how you never could find someone like each other in a new person, and wanting to start a new beginning, like wanting to be in love again. Some of you may make that proposal. The communication may start very fast. Uh, especially the distance is being shown here. So if you and this person of the past are at some distance, physical distance, it may resonate with you more, this kind of energy. But it is telling you that maybe the best part would be the friendship here. Yes, the friendship would be very good. But about the love, I would think about it twice. It is suggesting you to reflect, especially if you both want to restart it. It needs lots of work. Somebody may have been lazy in the past. It doesn't want that kind of energy anymore, that laziness. It needs lots of work. Can it be made perfect? It can, but is it worth it? the justice you may reconcile but again the seven of swords it is the first card that was shown here about the energy so that's why i'm being very hesitant to say that i'm not that confident that uh, that love story be very strong long term short-lived uh, short term it may be okay 
the friendship may be saved if uh, that's something you or them may want. That's what I'm getting. But anyway, I want to view more details about this person, about their feelings. The feelings of this person at this moment of time. So what are their feelings? How do they view you, their energies? How? Uh, what are their intentions? But I want to view your energies as well and the mutual energies, the energies that you are sharing with each other at this moment of time. So I will continue this with those extra details in the extended video that is in the description box below or at the side of this video if you are interested. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. See you the next reading and bye for now.